Hello everybody and welcome back to your weekly update video here on Pet Simulator 99 where we talk about all the changes in the game that you need to know. Time is flying as we are already on update 28 and this week's update is called the graffiti update. As you guys have probably seen we got zero leaks for this week's update and now it has become clear why that was. Unfortunately the reason was there really wasn't all that much content in the first place to leak so for that reason this week's update in this video will probably be pretty sure but either way there are a few very important changes that you will want to hear about so stick around to the end for that i'll also be doing a giveaway at some point during this video so it's important that you do pay attention and if you do want to hear about all the important changes and metas within the game make sure you like this video and subscribe for more now let's get into all of the changes in update 28 all right you guys so for update 28 i have six bullet points that we just have to go over with the first of those bullet points being the fact that we have three new huges included in this update now of course the most common one and the one that most of you will probably have a good chance at getting this week is this huge chrome of phoenix now the chrome of phoenix is also the best stat pet that you can also get in the different colors depending on whatever your team is but of course most of you will be trying to get this huge which has the same odds as last week which means it is a 1 in 16.6 .6 million chance to get which honestly in the grand scheme of things really isn't all that bad because you can just afk open this egg 24 7 for the next seven days and if you do that you will most likely get one of these huges for yourself and then the second of those huges is the huge chroma snail which you can find over in the graffiti gift so i have one of them right here now i'll pull up the dev blog in a second so you can actually get a better look at this huge but from the preview you could already tell this thing is an ugly little thing and then I'll pull up the dev blog here so we could talk about the third huge, which is the graffiti raccoon, as you can see here on the right. Now, you could obtain this by doing the color bomb minigame, which we will talk about in a second, so don't worry about that. But here you can see all three of these huges. Here is the chroma snail. This thing looks absolutely crazy. Obviously, you could get both of the phoenix and the snail in your respective team colors. So I do actually really enjoy this concept of of all the different colored huges that you can get with some of them being more rare than others this is a very cool thing so all three of these are limited time huges that will only be available during this week's update so moving on to number two on this list is that even though we have some brand new graffiti gift bags that we'll talk more about in a second the focus of the content within this week's update is still with the buckets of paint and the color gifts so if we head over here into the color machine you'll see that on top of the regular color gifts that we had last week you also have the ability to craft the graffiti gifts and the update has only been out for an hour and i can already craft 29 of these so i'm not sure if maybe these graffiti cans are just dropping a lot especially if you engage in the color bomb battle over here but if i continue getting this many graffiti cans dropped a day that means we're going to be able to craft so many of these graffiti gifts but it's still important to know that you will be getting these buckets the same as before so if you do want to maximize how much you're earning in this update you'll be able to make both the color gifts as well as the graffiti gifts and as always you'll probably make more if you just go ahead and sell the gifts for diamonds instead of trying to open them for the huges but if you do enjoy a good gamble then it might be worth it for you to do that instead now point three i pretty much just spoiled with all the talk i did about the color machine but with the graffiti gifts these graffiti cans are also tradable which is something very important that i didn't mention so you can actually buy these in the trading plaza and of course they are very expensive right now because the update just came out an hour ago but if you are going to want to open graffiti gifts it might be worth it for you to try to buy these graffiti cans if they are cheaper than a tenth of the price of the graffiti gifts because it does take 10 of the cans to make one gift now besides being able to get these cans from the color bomb mini game you can also get them from breakables in general so it's just good to grind as usual while opening the egg and then doing the color bomb mini game whenever you can by doing all three of those you'll probably get an absolute load of these gift bags to open up 
which also reminds me we probably should talk about the color bomb mini game a little bit more and i'll have a little bit of gameplay going on the screen now but essentially what the color bomb mini game is is an event that happens every 30 minutes where there's a competition for you to break as many breakables as possible now the catch with this mini game is that one of the breakables on your plot is actually a color bomb so if you get unlucky and your pets break one of the breakables that is the color bomb you lose and then basically every breakable that you were able to break counts as a point for this leaderboard over here and for this leaderboard the top 5,000 players on it will receive a huge chroma swan which is actually on top of the other leaderboard that we did have reset this week as well so there's actually 10,000 free huges being given out at the end of this week but I'm guessing that this mini game over here is going to be very competitive because you would have to engage with this color bomb mini game every 30 minutes and able to stay in the top 5,000 personally I've done two of these color bomb mini games and I only have 23 points so i'm not sure if i just got really unlucky but either way that is just another opportunity for you guys to potentially get a, another free huge as well as the chance at getting that graffiti raccoon from just destroying breakables in this game as well and moving on from the color bomb battle we also got some new stuff in the exclusive shop as well one important thing to note is that in this graffiti pack you can get 10 free graffiti cans which will allow you to make one of the graffiti gifts so if you are logging on to the game make sure you claim this every two days in order to get some free stuff now it's nothing new that we did get a specific pack for this week's update every single week we do get a new forever pack the only thing that is important to note is that there is this huge chroma ink blob which i'll pull up in a second which actually looks pretty sick to me here is that chroma ink blob right here and of course you can get it in whatever your team's color is now i'm actually going to be giving away one of these in this video all you got to do is like the video subscribe and then comment your roblox username as well as the word blob try to disguise the word blob in a sentence so that nobody else in the comments knows unless they watch the video and of course i won't be spending any money on this graffiti pack but i'll just go ahead and find one of these huges in the training plaza to give away to you guys which leads me to number six on this list which is the last of the important things that you need to know about update 28 which is the addition of the sad exclusive egg now this is a very interesting theme that big games chose for this week's exclusive egg as you can see we have a bunch of very sad animals leading all the way up to the titanic sad cat and then we also have the huge sad hamster as well as the huge sad doge all of which look very upset which fits the theme of the sad egg and of course because i am now a partner with big games i do have 200 of these eggs to open so i'll think of some fun little idea for a video for tomorrow to open all of these up but i can't help to think that this sad exclusive egg fits the theme of this week's update because there was a sad amount of content for us to go over that is essentially it there is a lot of things that we are still looking forward to within the game so it's kind of disappointing that big games didn't include any of that in this update for one we still have this diamond gift hunter enchant in the exclusive shop which means that this has been available for 10 different updates now the diamond gift hunter came out in update 18 which is absolutely insane that this is still in the exclusive shop and it still says new at the top right i don't know what big games is doing we need some new enchants and some new content in the game but besides that let me know what you think about this week's update down in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one and peace out